Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. In my opinion, this investigation is far from over and the Big Ten or College Football Playoff Committee would be foolish to act in haste before results are warranted to punish the University of Michigan for not being able to be in the conference championship game and or to not be able to join the college football playoff. There is an investigation ongoing. You have to let the process go through. Michigan is innocent until proven guilty. I've been here for a while, and if you have been here for a while, then you know that I picked Michigan to win the national championship this season. And uh, in the preseason, before the season even started. And you know if you've been here for a little bit longer than that, that I picked Michigan to lose in the playoffs last year uh, in that preseason. Michigan is really good. Uh, you know, it doesn't take cheating. <laughs> they, they do not have to cheat. They have the most talented team in the nation, the most experienced team in the nation, the most, most depth in the nation. I told you about the coaching staff. I told you about the strength and conditioning staff, including Abigail Spencer, the nutritionist, and Ben Herbert, the million-dollar man that we have. And I have told you all about the returning production that returned this season, including after nine Wolverines went pro, uh, got drafted, ex uh, excuse me, last cycle. The only way it was going to be derailed this season for the University of Michigan was off the field issues, a scandal of some sort, or many scandals of some sort. <laughs> Plenty are questioning Michigan right now uh, in that area, and it's a shame because the season is going so great. Uh, do these people think that Michigan being the first to 1,000 wins can be derailed is that what this is all about a huge smear campaign about uh of everyone that just hates michigan i don't know because michigan is so great everyone is throwing the rule book at them we will see how good our law school is here at the university of michigan going forward there is evidence of people including connor stallions doing nefarious things but were they against the letter of the law? Were they against the rules? Were others doing it? These are all questions that need to be answered. I find it hard to believe Michigan broke any rules. Uh, I think they found some loopholes and took advantage because everyone around here has been begging them to do just that. Michigan, you got to be more like the SEC and take advantage of some of these rules find the loopholes get you know get better and that's exactly what michigan is doing the sad part about all this is that even if michigan is exonerated of allegations and um if official allegations even uh come to fruition going forward the court of opinion has already spoke their mind and it has already damaged the University of Michigan. And, you know, Michigan is the leaders and best. So how do they handle this? Uh, they might be finally giving up on that moniker and using tactics of other schools. Deal with it. You know, everyone says, yeah, you're you're above everybody else. You're snooty. You are arrogant. You, uh, you know, the list goes on and on about the University of Michigan. You don't believe in uh, transfer credits for some people and whatnot. And you can't, it's too hard to get into the university and this and that and the other thing. And uh, that's all well and true. But are these allegations? So I can be as snooty as I want here right now as a Michigan fan. I don't think we did anything wrong. Connor Stallions, I think, is probably a genius. Uh, the manifesto he had is weird. It's, it's weird, but uh, is there anything that I wouldn't do if I was in his position? 
I don't think so. You find the rules and come as close to them as you can without breaking them, right? And that's what wins. That's what wins in today's day and age college football, along with the amazing talent that Michigan has on this roster. They didn't need to cheat. I don't, I don't think they did. So until proven otherwise, they didn't. And this entire smear campaign can uh, be shut down here, hopefully soon, but it'll probably drag out for a few years. Uh, the Kansas basketball case took six years and, and he was exonerated. And even though they found money laundering stuff, uh, this is hearsay from Steve Dace, uh, who, who I like, but sometimes he doesn't have all the facts. But neither do I. Uh, I'm a dependent fanatic, and this is just my thoughts on the entire situation. Michigan is going to win. It's going to be the first to 1,000 wins, and they're going to win the national championship if allowed to play for it. And that's something that is hard to say because we've worked so hard trying to get to this point. Harbaugh's here. Everyone wants to run him off every year. Uh, there's these new, uh, he's after the Denver job he, last year. He's after the Oakland job. He's after the Bears job this year. No, come on. Come on. He built this thing. Why would he leave? He loves a fight, especially if he knows he is in the right. And we don't know. We don't know yet. Michigan cannot speak about any of this because of rules and regulations that the NCAA has but they can leak whatever they want. So it's kind of a one-sided story so far all the way through this process. I think behind the scenes, Michigan and their litigators are going to fight and fight hard. And if Ward Manel or whatever has to uh, step down because of it, great. <laughs> great. I'm not a fan of Ward Manuel. He let John Beeline go. He let Eric Backich go. Uh, so... He hasn't locked down Jim Harbaugh in his contract for a lifetime contract yet. So he can go. That's fine. Harbaugh needs to stay. Michigan's going to win the title. And will it be vacated? That's the thing. I, I think Michigan will be allowed to play. And will wins be vacated is my only concern. So there you have it. Uh, I think Michigan's innocent. Like I said, I think they found some loopholes to get to where they need to be. And we'll see where it goes from here. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Like the video. Subscribe if you have not. And have a great day.